Infrastructure discussions are ramping up in Washington as Congress searches for bipartisan solutions. To discuss the roads ahead, I'm now joined by great friend of the Hill, Congressman Sam Graves from Missouri, the ranking member of the Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure. Congressman Graves, it's great to be with you again today. I've enjoyed our conversations. I've learned a lot about you know, all forms of transportation from you in the past. Um, look, I want to start out with the news. Um, Colonial Pipeline, southeast of the United States, is, is, is right now going through the, the fear and anxiety of not being able to get gas. We've got this. This is a major transportation infrastructure issue. You and I have talked about uh, cyber before, importance of this. What are your views on that? What are the deficits we need to immediately fix? And what do you think the Biden administration should do immediately in responding to this crisis? Well, obviously, we've got to get the pipeline opened up uh, just as quickly as possible. I talked to some folks that involved with that uh, over lunch, as a matter of fact, and, and uh, they felt pretty confident that they were going to see a resolution by Friday. Um, but what this has done is exposed our backside and, and you know, our, another vulnerability uh, when it comes to the United States and it comes to uh, uh, infrastructure and the movement of goods and, and products. Um, you know, around the country. And so um, we have to be very vigilant about this. We have to figure out how to, to protect ourselves so that these, uh, you know, these things don't happen, um, you know, moving forward. Now, you are uh, about or maybe you've already done it, about to introduce um, a piece of legislation, which would be um, your version, a, a kind of a different version, hopefully a bipartisan effort, as, as you've described it, um, that would respond to you call it the Starter Act 2.0, advancing reform technology, et cetera. And, and the trend. tell us about that and, and, and tell us, because I know this is important. You and I talked about last time. Tell us what you think is important to achieve real bipartisanship. A lot of people keep talking about it. Not too many people are walking it right now. What do you think needs to be done to get both sides of the aisle to coalesce around you know, a next generation transportation infrastructure plan? Well, compromise is the biggest thing. And obviously you can get a whole lot more done when you have a partnership rather than a, a partisan exercise. And, and if this is anything like what happened last year with, with the bill that was proposed, um, you know, it's gonna be very partisan. We have made ourselves completely open and have um, expressed that openness uh, in the negotiations we're having right now with, uh, with the Democrats in terms of putting together at least surface transportation uh, reauthorization and and hopefully those are going to uh, this going to come to fruition. We're going to see more of a traditional um, bill coming out of committee. We've always been a very bipartisan committee, and we've always been able to work together to uh, uh, to come up with some um, good compromises and bills that people can be very proud of and people can support uh, and push. And the president has shown a willingness to to have a, uh, a bipartisan deal. I think this is something that he wants to. Uh, be able to talk about and and hold up uh, as an example, and and hopefully we're going to uh, we're going to see that. But it starts with with both sides um, coming together, and and you know you work out the easy stuff first, and then you move mm -hmm. on to the harder stuff, and uh, you know and you just find that compromise, that middle ground. Now, as you and I are talking right now, the president of the United States is meeting with the leaders from both the House and Senate, Kevin McCarthy, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, and Mitch McConnell, about infrastructure, about this very topic. Has anyone spoken to you about what the wiggle room is? Is the president willing? Has he? I mean, there's one thing to have a meeting. It looks good for a photo op. But is there anything in there that you're getting a sense? Well, uh, we are going to find a middle ground. Well, we're working on that. Um, and again, we are negotiating with the uh, uh, Peter DeFazio and I are negotiating, uh, you know, as we speak, trying to come to uh, uh, to find that middle ground, um, you know, and you move out from there. So uh, we're working on it. And again, we made it very, um, you know, public that we're willing to compromise uh, on on anything. And, and so just come to us and ask. You know, that's the important thing is to ask uh, and then we'll see where we can, uh, you know, where we can start. And Sam, you have in, in our last conversation, but also in a recent op-ed that I just read that you wrote, um, you said, look, we need a transportation bill, not a climate bill that does a little bit of transportation. What's the right equity there? Does climate matter if you can achieve both, if you can achieve greater climate you know, sensitivity and responsibility with transportation decisions in the future? Is that something you're for? Um, what, where does the line need to be between those? Because there's just no doubt that, that uh, the administration is tying them together. 
Well, climate always matters, and and it should always matter. You know, and one of the things we're looking at is obviously resiliency and uh, construction and materials used, and also thinking about. Um, the next generation, you know, vehicles are going to be on the road. You know, as we move farther and farther away from fossil fuels and more into uh, alternative fuels, that's obviously a, a big part of this. And it's a big part of funding the Highway Trust Fund moving forward, because as we do move away from fossil fuels, um, we have to figure out how those user fees are going to continue to support, um, you know, a roads and bridge uh, program. So uh, I think we need to pivot. I think we need to find a way to uh, to fund this so that the Highway Trust Fund is uh, solvent in the future and not continue to kick the can down the road with, with shell games trying to uh, to figure this out because fossil fuels will eventually go away or at least they'll be depleted uh, to a great extent to where it's no longer feasible to use that as as a user fee. Um, so we need to transition to something you know much different and, and obviously the climate uh, debate is going to play a big part of that. Now, uh, you met, you, you talked about a meeting with Secretary of, of Transportation, Pete Buttigieg, recently, that it was a good meeting. You kind of laid out the important part of, you know, laying out common ground. What are the most important things that this administration could do to show you that its interest in working across the aisle with you is real? What would be, what, what would be the features of something? You said, ah, Pete Buttigieg heard me, Joe Biden heard me, that's the right way to go. Well, the biggest thing is obviously coming up with a product that, that, uh, you know, that has our principles in it, uh, as well as their principles, and come into those agreements. If if there is no negotiation or, um, you know, one side or the other just walks away from the table, then obviously that's not uh, that's not a partnership in any way, shape, or form. So, um, you know, I hope it's in, in good faith and, and we start coming up with these uh, with these compromises. Again, again we're open to uh, uh, we're open to anything. And, and so, you um, you know, we just need uh, we need a little direction on, on which way they want to go. Yeah, Sam, just finally, because I know you've got to run. Um, we, we have been talking to, you know, folks in the high tech area and automated trucks and automated cars. Another really important part of, of, of this conversation is rail. You and I last time talked about river transport, and river freight. And as we think about smart systems and new technology, these are other dimensions that have to be part of that. I'd love to hear a little bit about, you know, river traffic and boat and freight and unit train. Is that on your radar screen? Oh, absolutely. And, you know, that's part of what we call traditional infrastructure. You know, that's the transportation of, of goods and services and people um, all over this uh, all of this country. And it's a network, you know, whether that is inland waterways and rail and aviation and and uh, highways. Um, now, you know, what we have to do, at least the backup position is to get a surface transportation reauthorization done. We have a deadline of September 30th, or we do another extension because um, the deadline of the last extension ends uh, on that date. So we know we have to do that. And, you know, if we can make that a part of a bigger uh, infrastructure plan, then we're obviously very open to that. Um, we do like the idea, though, of traditional infrastructure, and that is, again, um, transportation systems, modes of transportation, and, and uh, moving forward with that. So, yes, rail is a big part of it, inland waterways, um, aviation, all of it. What, what is, uh, Congressman, what is your gut sell you? Are we going to get to a good place, or is it going to be a frustrating year? Um, I'm cautiously optimistic. Um, I am, uh, you know, I'm hopeful. That we're going to get to a good place. I do not want a uh, I do not want a, a contentious year, and I and I don't want to uh, uh, to see that fight. Um, you know, and again, that comes back to people getting together and, and moving forward. And and if you have these rigid um, walls that uh, that you put up at, that can't be broken down, then uh, we're obviously not going to get anywhere when it comes to any partnership or bipartisan legislation. Well, Congressman Sam Graves, ranking member of the Committee on Transportation and Infrastructure, uh, always great to see you. I think last time we got together, you were just at back from either hunting or fishing or out, you know, walking yeah. the woods. And so I'm not used to seeing you in a coat and tie. So it's nice to <laughs> nice to see you this way. But thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Absolutely.